this week's All Tricks Challenge is basically just to create a simple app where you can uh, customize a poem. So we've got as our input file um, a sonnet from Shakespeare, um, and we're just going to replace certain words, um, giving some kind of hint in the interface what those words should be uh, to create the desired output. Uh, now for mine, I've chosen not to, you know, mess up the ends of lines so that it still rhymes and also uh, it should have the same number of um, syllables in uh, the version of my app just because then it doesn't mess up the iambic pentameter of, you know, Shakespeare or however you say that. Um, so, uh, if we come down to the solution, it's pretty simple. I haven't chosen to do all of the steps in the output because it was just getting quite repetitive and I think that you get the idea of the challenge from just doing a few. So we start off uh, with all of the text sort of in one cell at the moment, one row, with uh, embedded new lines and Alltrex even tells you that. It says this cell has embedded new lines um, and that's why it's got that little red triangle on the side there so it's trying to flag that there's some data quality issues potentially so we're using a text columns tool just to split those out by a new line delimiter uh, to get the 14 lines and just because it really bothers me to have these little um, red cards on there the cell having leading spaces i'll use a data cleanse tool to just uh, get rid of those leading white spaces and then we get a nice green across the top and everything's hunky-dory. So now, so far, these three tools, we've done nothing that is anything to do with building an app, uh, but it's at this point that when we bring in our formula tool and then we start uh, writing our formulas that will replace certain bits, that then we will link to our interface tools. So. Um, if we just look at the fact that we're using a replace function to replace any instance of the word summer with uh, fall, it kind of kills me to say fall, um, but if I changed it to autumn here, then it um, would be a autumn's day, oh, and that's even worse. So we just I just stuck with fall because it doesn't really matter what you write here, because using the interface tool, uh, in this case, we're using a drop down, but I'll come to that in a minute. Then the action here, uh, it all starts off all collapsed, so uh, when you first bring in the tool and you use an action tool, then you open it up and we're replacing this string here, but we only want to replace the full word. So basically whatever we select in our interface tool, then it, the word full will be replaced in our formula. So our formula is looking like this and this is going to allow us to be dynamic in what we replace the word fall with. So, you know, at the moment it's just doing exactly what's in this part of the workflow, but then when you run the little uh, analytical app wizard um, thing right next to the run button, then you can see that we can choose anything here. Say we changed it all to winter, and then that would then update those values. So we're just doing a similar thing for each of the different fields. If I talk through one different example, I guess. In this case, we were using the drop-down tool. So we're giving the user two options, uh, summer or winter. And I chose those two because they both have um, two syllables and I wouldn't have to think about the problem of autumn starting with an A. <laughs> um, anyway, besides the point. Um, but in the next one uh, that I've chosen to change, so here then we've got um, the word lovely that's an adjective and it's got two syllables to it so here we're just using the word plastic as a describing word um, but that then gets changed you know it could be awesome instead uh, but we've just told our user to choose a two syllable adjective and we're updating this time the second formula that we've written and we're replacing that expression but we're not replacing the whole thing, we're just replacing the plastic um, part of that expression. So we're making it dynamic what we update that, uh, that value with. What We're making the word that we change lovely to dynamic. If that helps, it's a bit of a different way to rephrase it. And in this case, we're using a free text um, or text box, sorry, tool. 
So then the user can just input whatever they want um, in that. And how that looks in here is that, you know, they've got a drop down here and the difference between that and that is that then you can just type anything you like. It doesn't have to be um, a word per se, but um, you've got the two different options there of how much freedom you want to give to the people using your app. And then the only other thing I do here is use a select tool to rename it, the column to your poetry. And I just left it as it is here, um, just because this is what I imagine that we were getting to, but I know that I've seen other solutions where they've um, concatenated it back up so that everything's all in one cell again. I mean, some people have even created a lovely report with a romantic uh, picture on it too, but I have not gone that far. And finally, I'm just export, uh, outputting it, sorry, um, to a YXDB file. So yeah, I think this is a great challenge to help you build an analytic app for the first time. Uh, the only other thing I guess to mention, although Alteryx did this automatically for me when I was bringing in these interface tools, uh, was that you may need to change it to an analytic app up here. Um, so that was by clicking on the blank canvas and going to workflow, then you get to these options. Usually you're on a standard workflow, but if you bring in interface tools, it'll either change to a macro or an analytic app. So whenever the users open this um, file type, then this is the kind of pop-up that they get. And when we run it, then we just say OK, and you get the output file here as well. So I hope that's useful if you've never built an app before. And let me know if there's anything else I can help with. Thanks.